In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can work with SQL Server Database, using DBHawk. First enter the username and password, to connect to the database. Now let's choose Production Schema, and filter objects with entering text equal to prod. Select Product Photo Table. I'm going to show you, how you can view binary data with a simple click. You can view image details, you can download image, and open with other programs. You can also edit binary data. You can perform delete, edit and duplicate functions on the single row. DBHawk also provides single row viewer. By double clicking on any row, user can view data, row by row. Now let's go to the sales schema, and filter objects by text equals order. Now let me show you, sales order had a table data. Let's click on total rows button to see how many rows are in this table. Now, I want to show you, how DBHawk uses advanced caching mechanism, to display large amount of data, with pagination technique. Here I'm going to enter maximum rows equals 10,000, and rows per page equals 100. As you can see, DBHawk quickly load 10,000 rows and show data with pages. You can click on pagination button to browse data by page. Now let's go to sales order detail table, and let me show how, you can filter the data. Let's say that, I'm only interested in seeing data, where order quantity is more than 3 and, line total value is more than 10,000. I'm applying this filter, to see the filtered data, based on my filter condition. You can export this data into various formats, I'm going to export data into CSV format, it gives me various export options to choose. I can open exported data with Microsoft Excel for further research. Now let's go to the person table. I want to show, you can do various database operations with the table. You can create, rename, truncate, drop a table, add new row to the table data, import CSV data into the table data etc. I can view table columns details, modify columns, add new column. I can view indexes, index detail. I can view the constraints, view foreign key constraints, view reference table and column details etc. I can add new constraints such as primary key, foreign key etc. I can view table grants, and assign grants. I can view table statistics. I can get the table DDL. Other features includes, you can create various database objects.
view user information, and create new user. View roles, and add new roles. View login details, and create new login. View session details, session SQL and also able to kill a session. Now I am going to show you SQL Query Builder. For that let's select production schema again and filter objects with product texts. Using SQL Query Builder, users can build query by dragging tables on Query Builder window. I'm going to first drag product subcategory table. Now let me drag product category table. As you can see, dbHawk automatically detects relationships between two tables using primary and foreign keys. Now, let's drag and drop product table. As you can see, developers do not require to write any SQL. They can generate SQL query using dbHawk SQL Query Builder. I'm going to select name column from each table. As you can see, Query Builder keeps building SQL as you select and drag tables. Once you are OK with your desired query, you can open query into the SQL Editor window by clicking on the Open in Editor button, and run that SQL query. Using dbHawk, you can also create SQL reports, create data dashboards, create charts and schedule SQL jobs, create SQL data snippets. I will be showing you how to create all these into the next dbHawk tutorial. Visit datastock.com for more information and download dbHawk to try with your database.